Hi everybody out there in YouTube land. How you doing today? It's a beautiful day today. Uh, I have to deal with some crap here, so I'm going to put this right up. Lately there's been a lot of talk about dock droppers. Now, there's one in particular that it's taken the highlight, and I can see why. And the other one has been rather, well, somewhat diminished. And I find it kind of funny because the diminished one I find should be in the highlight. And the highlighted one should be in the diminished. In my own personal view, I do see a lot of reason for the ire directed at uh, the, the, the one that's in the highlight, uh, a certain dock dropper who claims innocence, Mr. Crazy Dudeful, out of ignorance. And a lot of people are very angry with them. And I don't blame them. He's exposed somebody to potential harm. And no matter how much he apologizes, that person is still been put in harm's way and shouldn't have been. I've been tending to hold back because the person whose who's docks he's dropped is an interesting person and a person I find to have a good and positive approach and exercises great stewardship when it comes to trying to deal with other people in actually treating them as people with genuine queries who generally don't understand things and he tries to explain them as best he can. Now, whether that has a good effect or not on the particular person is irrelevant because if it's on YouTube and it gets exposed to a lot of other people who may be asking the same kinds of questions in earnest, then these kinds of questions get answered in earnest. And it can help people to form a decision as to what direction they'll go into. So, I tend to abide by the wishes of this person and leave Mr. Crazy Dude for alone, though I don't blame people for being angry with him and letting them know that they're angry with him for that particular action. Certainly might discourage him. A David Raymond Amos is a different color. He does this sort of thing on purpose, deliberately, knowing full well the harm that can be done. This, in my view, is far worse than the actions taken by, by Mr. Crazy Dudeful. He's posted my docs three times. Deliberately. Maliciously. This man can find justification for just about any of his actions. Which makes him dangerous, to say the least. Posting a person's private information on YouTube is very much along the lines of putting a target on a person's back exposing them to danger because of the types of mentalities that are out there that can convolute somebody's thinking in such unfathomable ways that makes it possible and potential for them to justify actions that most civil human beings would not do. A lot of us have a higher regard for people and we deal with each other and commune with each other on YouTube in a friendly fashion for the most part. There are some humor and, and some, some badgering, uh, little bits of uh, cajoling and whatnot. And a lot of it can be quite a bit of horseplay and goofing around. And some people are extremely sensitive and cannot take that. So uh, 
what are we to do? Just clam up and isolate ourselves and be fearful of dealing with anybody uh, on the basis that you never know how anybody else is going to take a simple hello and turn it into a potential threat and say that this person has to be taken out one way or another? No. We can't live that way. A lot of the folks I meet out there are decent souls. Good folks. Brilliant folks. A lot of them. I derive a lot of pleasure from hearing their thoughts. Seeing how they think. Giving me alternate perspectives on things. Because we all don't think the same. Because we all have different structures in our thinking based on our past experience. I don't think any two of us are alike. We're all a lot like snowflakes. Well, there's a beauty to that. Hmm. The ugly needs to be removed. Not ignored. And one of the ways that we tend to try to remove the ugly is by setting up a system where people feel safe so that we can have this YouTube set up as a great equalizer where we're all equally able to express our ideas without fear of physical repercussions. As somebody who reintroduces the threat of physical repercussions is somebody I think should be removed from the system so that we can continue with our communing. I've taken what action I can from this end. And as much ire as there is for Mr. Crazy Dudeful, I think it should be directed at this person. Twofold at least. Because of his deliberateness. No matter how much he claims that he's justified in doing such actions. He's not. I would not post his. No matter what. Even if he's posted mine. That's no justification for me posting his. I'd rather go a different route in trying to stop him from doing such things. Because he can do harm to people in a lot of different ways. He comes up with arguments and people counter his arguments and when all else fails, he'll threaten them with this. I've been scared, and I think justifiably so. People say he's harmless. He doesn't have any of the connections to claims, and I, I, I do strongly think that as well. But that's not the point. A person like that is not someone you'd meet face to face. It's someone, if he hits, he won't know it. He won't see it coming. And that's why I think something needs to be done with him. The only thing I really am grateful to in this particular experience is that I've gotten to meet some pretty decent people. I've been meeting a lot of great decent people for quite some time on YouTube and it's expanded my mind quite a lot. To all of you out there, kudos. You got a lot of that. You got a lot of this too. Thank you one and all. The new friends I've made, and you know who you are. <laughs> Thanks for your support. It was greatly appreciated. I'll see you all around. I'll be watching with an interested and eager eye. Take care.